Once an assistant has been created, tested at the time of its creation, and tested again from the playground, we consider it valid. We'll now test it via API through Postman API platform, a platform to create and use APIs. From there, we'll be able to use the API in our developments, regardless of the technology. We enter Postman, and from My Workspaces, we select New, HTTP. Since we want to send a query and receive a response, what we'll do is a post. So here, we choose Post. And we must indicate the URL to access the server. To determine this URL, we consult the Genexus Enterprise AI documentation. Our goal is to connect to the chat assistant that we created earlier, called Marketing Assistant. So we need the necessary information to communicate with this type of assistant. It's important to take this into account because if we wanted to connect, for example, with a RAG assistant, we would need other parameters. All right, therefore, in API references, chat API, we find the information we need and examples of use. To use the API, we need the content of the variables base URL and SIA API token, where base URL corresponds to the installation base URL of GX Enterprise AI, and SIA API token corresponds to an API token generated for the project. Okay, so we indicate the base URL corresponding to our scenario. We see that the path is completed with backslash chat, so we add it in the post statement. We now move on to authorization, which is bearer token. So in the Postman Authorization tab, we choose that option. To use the API, we must authenticate each request using an API token. As we've already seen, these tokens are managed in the Genexus Enterprise AI back office and uniquely identify the sender of the request. We must then provide that token. For that, we go to the Genexus Enterprise AI back office, and in the API tokens option, we can select any of the defined tokens, since any of them identifies us in the project. For example, the default one. We select copy, we go back to Postman, and paste the token. Good. Now we go to the body tab, choose raw, JSON, and refer to a basic example of what we should declare here. We have already indicated the post, the authorization method, and the content type. We must now specify the body of the query, so we copy what corresponds to data and paste it. Model corresponds to the type of assistant followed by its name. As we've said, depending on the type of assistant, the parameters may vary. The assistant type identifies a standard assistant, a data analyst assistant, and an API assistant, while the search type identifies a RAG assistant. In this case, we want to contact our chat assistant. So the indicated type is assistant, and the name is Marketing Assistant. Let's look now at the Messages element. This element defines a message that we want to add. The minimum expression is this one we're declaring, where content corresponds to the user input. In this example, we're going to indicate LAMP as input, expecting the Assistant to return a correct description of this product. Then we can add other parameters. So let's indicate, for example, the revision of the assistant we want to use. Remember that we could have several revisions of the same assistant. We then specify the identifier and name of the revision. Now we click on Send, and we get the answer. The assistant says, a lamp is a lighting fixture that provides illumination in a room or space. Very good. Now that we've tested our assistant via API, 
we can use it in our developments. Later on, we'll see examples of use from a Genexus knowledge base.